being a woman in engineering and also my just like really competitive nature with rowing, um, I was just like, man, I'm gonna go out there and I'm really, really gonna just like show everyone that like I can do this and I'm gonna be the best and I wanna be one of the best in my class and like, and I can do this sport and I can like spend 25 hours a week training plus do all this schoolwork and like, and I'm still gonna be like the top. Industrial engineering definitely has like the highest percentage of females in the program, but it's still very like male dominated. So, you know, I hope that I can have some kind of community impact in my career. Um, past the point of just like working in the field, like being seen as a female engineer working, but also, you know, actually reaching out. And um, being someone that is like a pinpoint that people can go like, wow, like she's, a, she's an engineer, so why can't I be an engineer kind of deal. I was particularly impressed with her summer internship. Uh, she spent the summer in Australia and Sydney interning there as a requirement for her, her major. But while she was there, she found that the work she was doing there didn't necessarily fulfill her academic requirements. So essentially, she was doing two jobs while she was there. And all the time keeping up with her training too, as evidenced by uh, her fitness when she returned to school. I love the challenge of it, um, just because it is so difficult. but. It's really rewarding to do so well um, and to have that and to do so well with that balance of like being a student athlete as well as engineering and I think it actually kind of goes hand in hand because rowing gives so much structure um, to my life and so um, it helps me a lot with my studies to like keep on top of them and like just um, make sure that I prioritize stuff correctly um, so that right, rowing really like helped a lot with that too. I think she's capable of making a tremendous impact. I think it, it just depends on what she wants to do. Once she decides this is the path I want to follow, uh, I, I don't think there's much of a limit for her. Thanks to West Virginia and the Big 12, I'm a champion for life.